welcome to another uh, how-to video. This time it's uh, to repair Panasonic FX FS430, which I have here. Um, uh, it's losing uh, its tuning for each channel. Um, so it, you, you tune it to a channel and then it uh, wanders off somewhere else. So we're going to have a look inside and uh, see if it can be fixed. So this is the offending uh, article. As you can see, it's a 80s or 90s radio. Um, old, but still useful. You can still listen to radio. It's got a nice soft eject cassette tray there. Look at that. Slow eject. Soft eject, it says on it. Um, I haven't got any tapes for it, but... Um, as a radio, it's perfect. Um, why throw it away? So let's get it open and have a look inside. First off, remove the battery cover and the screws. Oh, so there we have the speakers. Um, oh, right, the tuning device. I guess that goes in there, something like that. Uh, right, speakers, oh, disconnect them here. Move that out of the way. So we have the guts of the thing. And move that tuner out of the way as well. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's clearly in uh, several parts. Let's remove this. Um, cassette mechanism out the way. It's connected by ah, oh, connected down there. And they're connected here. Set mechanism and motor. Move that out of the way. All right, so hopefully, let me zoom in a little bit here. Here we have the uh, power input that comes in through the on the other side. Here's the, one of those uh, connectors. Um, into here, we've got a fuse transformer uh, then we come into the control panel here the volume the tone and selector switches are all there and then I guess this is the tuning bit here which is the bit that I'm interested in because it's losing its uh, losing its uh, uh, its uh, channels and keep this on camera as best I can. Let's move the camera. How does it come out? One way or other. Oh. oh, there we go. So let's have a look in here. Let's see if I can zoom in some more. Let's bring it down into view. So a quick, uh, let's have a quick visual inspection of this. Uh, and straight away, we can see a blown capacitor right here. Right there. It's got a nice dome on it. And it's blown out from the underside. Hopefully I can get that on camera. I don't know if you can see that under there, it's blown out, but um, can't see anything else blown. But it is an old unit, uh, and I would suspect that these all these caps need replacing um, at some point. 
so why not do it now so let's get some capacitors first off this one here and then we'll check these with the old ESR meter and see what's happening there um, okay so let's get that out and then get the uh, ESR meter on now um, got this yes the Mastec here um, this is not designed for in circuit testing but it will give a good indication of anything untoward um, as always make sure these are disc uh, been uh, discharged before you uh, check them with any kind of ESR meter so the best way to do it is just to make sure they're all shorted out make sure there's nothing going on there I'm going to have to remove this uh, tuning device here is that how you do it? let's have a look here yep yeah, there we go I don't want to so let's try some of these capacitors uh, the blown one obviously should be outrageous so yes uh, coming up 518 kilo ohms okay that's obviously gone uh, in fact it looks like there's already been some work done here at some point somebody's replaced some of these caps 144 so another one there that's gone or is going um, this one looks like it's been replaced as well is that it have I got the right one Eight point seven ohms oh that's all right see if I can get on it I think that's it there 18.5 ohms but look at it's roaming all over the place Whoa. you see it running about there so that's on its way as well so there's another one 2.5 ohms but again it's wandering there these two here these have had some work done on them you can see they've, they've been Sold, resoldered. Let's have a look. But it could have been done ten years ago, for all I know. Thirty-six mega ohm. Okay, yeah, she's well, she's gone. This one here. Fifteen point eight ohms. But wondering. So yeah, it needs recapping. So if that's gone, uh, it's going, or if they've gone. There's a good chance the caps in there in the main board too need recapping, so probably recap the lot. Um, so I'll do this board here and see if I can get it to tune. Um, so let's get some capacitors. I'm using re reused capacitors, uh, recovered from something else, so I have to check them with the meter as well before I do it. So back in the GIF. This one's an interesting little cap. Uh, it's not got a white line down it. It's got written on it um, polar, non-polar down the side there. I don't know if you can get a view of that or not. But it's not sure if I can get it on camera. But it says on it non-polar, which is obviously the negative side. So that non-polar side goes into this this way there.
Okay, so that's the recapping done. Um, these are the all recovered caps I've used that the Volta Stout. Okay, so just for interest's sake, let's um, see what the ESR is on these out of circuit. So bring in the ESR paper again. Um, if I do this. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, let's have a look at these, what they are. Let's have, put this on to capacitance. And serial and frequency. 200 hertz. So we'll get the ESR on this now. I'll put the backlight on. It'll be easier to see. So it's the first one. Put one micro. So we put one ohms, actually that's that's not bad actually. Uh, this one's 47. Yes, yeah, so 45 to my that's okay actually. This one 2.1, 14, 15. See that one's wondering. That's wandering around there, so it's on its way out. That's 2.2. Uh, we've got one here at 22. 20. That's not bad actually. And the one here at 1 micro. 0.1. Make sure that's way out and it's wondering. That's the one that was uh, blown, that we spotted. See that one? No point in taking that. 10 micro. Yeah, you can see this, that's gone. It's all over the place. So that's the one. And one more here at 25 volts, 10 micro. Again, wondering. So as you can see, um, it's worth recapping it. And this does give a good indication. This mastic does give a good indication when it's uh, it's the high. Let's get this back together again. So it's finally uh, reassembled, replaced uh, another miss a cap from the power input. Um, so I guess it's time to switch it on and see if it works. Uh, yeah, we're up a bit. Radio. Oh, I've got some sound. Oh, immediately. Result. That concludes this video on how to repair this uh, Panasonic tape deck. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.